morning, um, Trev here. I'm just giving you a little um, look around the inside of the air source heat pump. So mine has ended up in my um, bedroom in my wardrobe. So let's have a little look. So first of all, I wanna just give you a sense of the sound. So you, it's on at the moment. You can hear there's sort of a light hum. And you can see I've put sort of quite a bit of um, sort of insulation, just reused insulation from other things. Um, I put this sort of box with insulation bits that I bought um, over it. Um, can't say the insulation makes a massive difference, um, but um, I will take it out just to show you what the sound's like without it. So, <clears throat> having a bit of a tidy in my room anyway, so I can just chuck that all down. And as you can see, it's sort of in the cupboard, you can see the pipes, so I'll give you a little look round. There's the box. This is the sort of air, the water pressure. So there's a water pressure gauge. Um, so if it needs adjusting, you can adjust the pressure there. Um, I should know what all of these cylinders are, but this is sort of the main water tank. Um, and this is the noisiest bit down here. Just to show you. So it's not on all the time, um, obviously, but it, it does make a noise. But I would say um, I sleep right through it. It's not like a, it doesn't disturb me now. And it's not um, <clears throat> a great deal louder or any different to a gas boiler with the kind of sound of the water pipe and the sound of it coming on but it is a different sort of noise. So it's something that I don't think I've seen many videos about. So this originally was gonna go in my loft. I think they kind of, they struggled to get um, an access or it would have involved a carpenter. So the cost to put it upstairs um, would have been a lot more, um, but um, yeah. So this wasn't my first choice to have it in my bedroom, but it's, um, it's fine, it's all right <laughs> in my bedroom. And like I say, it doesn't disturb me. Um, a few people were asking about some other bits. So I'll just have a little look at radiators. One of my um, friends was talking about radiators. So <clears throat> let's just have a look at this one in my staircase. So this is a, a double radiator. So that's a good one. They kept that as it is. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Again. That was already in the property, double radiator, they kept that one. This one is a single one. They kept that, it's fairly large. I think they moved moved a couple around and you can see some piping, which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, in my lounge and my bedroom, in fact, they have created, um, sorry, put in some thicker radiators. You see that's a, a new radiator um, and it's a, a lot bigger, the area, okay? So um, questions people ask are about, um, yeah, updating radiators and noise. Okay, so I had to update my radiators a bit and also the pipes. If we look at the pipes here, they're sort of quite, um, quite thick. My old were microbore. I don't know if I've got a bit of microbore. Let's just have a little look if I've got a bit of microbore down here to show show you. This is a bit of old microbore. So <coughs> let's have a look at them together. Does that work? I don't know if I can get the angle right. So you can see that um, the diameter is maybe twice as much, but this is sort of quite well, next to my finger perhaps. So that's a lot smaller than my finger and, and this is about the same as my finger. Hopefully that comes across in the video. But yeah, so I had to replace the microbore pipe to new pipe and some radiators, but they did do some radiator shuffling. In terms of the cost, um, yeah, I think that was about two or three grand, I think, to do, to do that work of radiator work. So um, it might be that you need to, to do some work to install the heat pump, but what, what, what we did, um, um, sort of in Rose Hill was sort of have a survey and it kind of like um, 
uncovered what needs to happen next in your house. So things like insulation, loft insulation, double glazing. I've already got double glazing on my windows. So already got loft insulation, cavity wall insulation. All of these things, which I've said before in another video, are um, very beneficial for your house generally. No matter what system you've got, if you're losing all of your heat um, through the, the windows or the loft, then it's not gonna be efficient. So um, even if you're staying on a gas boiler, really um, sort of doing things like double glazing and stuff are good investments to your property. Or indeed, if you're in council, then um, hassle your landlord or your um, council to, to do those upgrades anyway, because they should be doing them um, anyway, if you see what I mean. But yeah, in terms of the actual heat pump, putting in a few sort of newer, sort of bigger radiators and then um, doing that work. Now there is a subsidy that's bigger than when I got mine, so seven and a half thousand pounds, I believe from the boiler upgrade um, scheme. Someone was asking me about this um, yesterday. So I think if you're coming off gas onto a renewable source or certainly a heat pump, you can get seven and a half grand <clears throat> off that transition and I'm not really sure why the government aren't promoting that more because it's a, a very very good um, deal it's virtually the whole amount of, of the heat pump installation um, installation but but like I say there, you might need other works like radiator upgrades or insulation on your roof or on your windows um, do let me know if there's anything else you want to know about heat pumps. Thank you for watching the other videos. So there's, there's a few videos now on heat pumps and do um, click subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment if you want to know anything more and hopefully see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.